Okay, so without further ado, to start this video tutorial, let's have this mathematical equation given 3 minus 2 plus 3 plus 7 times the quantity 16 divided by 8 is equal to 1. Okay, so I presume your answer is either 22 or 18. Now, in mathematics, we don't wish to come up with different answers. Now, how are we going to do that given this long equation? To answer this, we must learn the what we so called gendas, which tells us about the order of operations or what operations should we do first. Now, G stands for G stands for grouping. Under grouping, groupings, we have different symbols that we use, which are parentheses, brackets, and braces. Now, after doing what's inside the grouping symbol, whatever inside in the grouping symbol, we must do next is Simplify the expressions which has an exponent. E for the exponent in the form A raised to 2 wherein 2 is an exponent. Now M stands for multiplication, B for division, A for addition, and L for subtraction. Now, in the case of multiplication, division, addition, and subtraction, it doesn't necessarily mean that if there is a multiplication, you must do multiplication first. If there is addition, you must do addition first before the subtraction. That is not always the case. Now, between, between multiplication and division, whatever comes, comes first from the left of the equation should be done first. Now, if you will be able to see that division comes first before the multiplication from the left of your equation, then you must do division first. Like for example, you have 2 divided by 1 times 2. Now, instead of multiplying first, you must divide first 2 and 1 and that is 2 times 2 is equal to 4 follow okay now same goes or same rule applies for addition and subtraction Whatever comes first between addition and subtraction from the left of the equation should be done first. So that is that is the summary of the what we so called gemdas. Now let's try to apply gemdas in answering the given example a while ago. Three minus two plus three plus seven times the quantity 16 divided by 8 is equal to what? We'll see what answer will we obtain. Okay, so let's start first looking at the grouping symbols. Can you see a grouping symbol? Yes, and there it is. Inside the grouping symbol, we have 16 divided by 8. So, we need to say we need to divide for 16 and 8 and the answer is 2. Now, bring down everything left in the equation. 3 minus 2 plus 3 plus 7 times 2. Now, the second thing that we need to do to look for is the equation the exponent now since there is no exponent here there's no exponent here so let's move to the following operations which are multiplication division addition or subtraction so since there is 
multiplication here and there's no division anymore so let's just do multiplication so 7 times 2 is 14 and then let's write the remaining values in our equation 3 okay 3 minus 2 plus 3 plus 14 now for the last part or the last process here since the only operation left here is subtraction and addition now let's decide which between the two will we do first now since subtractions come some sub subtraction comes first so we'll do subtraction first so we have 3 minus 2 is 1 plus 3 plus 14 and the answer here is 18 so 18 now is our final answer okay now let's see if you really understood the lesson a while ago now try these examples on your seat